Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord, Xbox turns 15, and I've just kind of noticed that I look a little bit like Ben Affleck. I don't know whether that seems like a dick thing to notice about yourself, but I was doing my resting bitch face before I turned on the camera. And I kind of noticed I did have a little bit of a look of Ben Affleck in the new Batman movie, like... I don't know, I don't know if you guys notice it, but I kind of do. I look like I could possibly be a young Ben Affleck. So, you know, if, if, if any of you guys from Warner Brothers are watching right now, and you need to do, like, a young storyline of Batman, just saying. And of course, I can't really say that without doing a Batman kind of thing, so I guess we're gonna just have to kind of do it really quick, I guess. Why did you say that name? Why did you say that name? <laughs> So now we've got that over and done with, Xbox, 15 years old, holy fucking shit, that is crazy news indeed. Honestly, doesn't even feel like 15 years old, feels more like I was playing the original Xbox. Shut the fuck up, Pepper. I'm trying to do a video. I'm sorry guys, she's a cheeky bitch, fuck her. But like I said, 15 years ago, it only feels like I was playing the original Xbox around about 8 or 7 years ago. I know that seems so unrealistic, but honestly, when I think back in my memory, it honestly feels like that long ago I was booting it up for the first time, playing Halo, or playing, um, I think it was Abe, Abe's Odyssey, uh, Abe Crunch's Odyssey maybe or something, about his little uh, cousin in the wheelchair. You guys probably don't even know what I'm talking about right now, but it was an amazing game back in the day, it really was. But I kind of just wanted to talk about my experience with gaming and how the gaming industry has kind of changed so rapidly, so quick over these last 20 years. It's So as most of you guys probably know, probably, probably know, I am a huge Xbox One gamer. I mean, I think I prefer the Xbox One over every gaming console of the generation. Uh, Xbox One generally stole my heart, and it hasn't always been that way. It honestly hasn't. I remember when I was a kid, we had the Dreamcast, the SNES, we had pretty much everything. I was fortunate enough to have a family who had a good bit of money to buy us a lot of stuff. And even though I wasn't like, I don't see myself as a spoiled kid, I never asked for those things. They just kind of bought me them, I guess to just shut me the fuck up. So they used to buy us those kind of stuff, and I was very grateful. Um, but the gaming console that really made me a core gamer... Um, from when I actually realized it was the PlayStation. Yes, just the PlayStation. It wasn't the PlayStation 1, it was just the PlayStation. That was what we called it back then. And I had games, like, I remember when I got it, and it was this one Christmas when my mum used to, like, say, um, it's Christmas Eve now, you can open one present beforehand, and stupidly enough, she used to, like, bundle the PlayStation 1 games together, and like, I remember thinking if you guys remembered the PlayStation 1 games, but they were very obvious. Like, if you just fell through the packet, you could feel the bumps of the side of where the game's name would be. And I opened it up, I was like, I want that one, because I knew, you know? I used to go sneaking around just, like, feeling my presence. <laughs> Feels kind of crazy actually saying that, doesn't it? What have you inside you? <laughs> so I started off on the PlayStation 1, it was brilliant. And then I went to the PlayStation 2. The PlayStation 2 was brilliant also. Um, I had a lot of games. I remember playing one specifically, Bouncer. Um, also, Shadow of the Colossus. Um, Final Fantasies, most of all. Crazy good games. Um, but then, I remember, I remember it's so clear in my head, the memory. Like, I, I just... All I can see right now is my mum ironing the clothes and me right in front of her. And she's like, we've got you an Xbox. And I was like... What, what's an Xbox? <laughs> I remember booting it up for the first time and experiencing Halo. Damn, what a game. It's such a great game, such a great game franchise that evolved gaming so much in the terms of actual, like, online gaming, uh, story campaigning, just stuff like that. So I have to say, Microsoft and Xbox as a whole are evolving the game industry so, so rapidly. What they're doing is an amazing job. Everybody's doing an amazing job. I have to admit, everybody brings their own to the gaming industry. 
but I have noticed since the Xbox One's lifespan, Microsoft itself has been making considerably amazing changes both to customer support both for the players and for the gaming industry in, in general um, I mean one thing about the company that I love it's such a small thing for some people but it's huge for me and that is the customer support what you guys over at Xbox or Microsoft are doing with the customer support team is amazing. It's great. Every person I speak to are absolutely polite. They get the job done as quick as possible. It takes minutes to get through and actually speak to somebody, which is unheard of on most things. You know, it's guaranteed always somebody there, right there when you need them. Um, that's my personal experience for the last 15 times or something like that. People will probably be saying now, 15 times? Why have you got to contact? They can't be that good if you got to contact it that much. No, I just contact them because I, I'm lonely and I like speaking to them. But in all seriousness, this video is kind of just congratulating the gaming industry in general. You know, it is not only a great feat for Microsoft and Xbox, but for the gaming industry in general. Gaming has evolved so much, and like a true football fan, you know, they are proud to be a part of that industry. Whereas me, I am proud to be a part of this industry, the communities, Everything about gaming is amazing. I love it so much and for everybody who participates in the gaming industry Thank you very much for all of the memories you have gave me all of those kind of amazing times those nostalgic moments And thank you to all of the memories that you are going to give me will going to give me in the future <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Right guys, I've got to go and pick up my son from school in a second. So yeah, I hope you all have a fantastic day. I hope we can all celebrate this amazing feat for Xbox together. And I guess just have an amazing week. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, uh, see ya.